I mean, I told me about respect, honestly. I don't respect nobody, man. But it's just, that's just me, you know. That's the part that I think I'm respect. <laughs> What's up, boxing fam? Just when we thought the Tiafimo Lopez and Terence Crawford saga couldn't get any wilder, Dazen just dropped some insane news that has the entire boxing world buzzing. Buckle up, because this one's gonna be a roller coaster. So, you've seen the beef between these two elite fighters unfold all over social media. teo has been running his mouth for a minute now, calling out Bud like he's got something to prove. And it looks like Crawford is finally down to settle it. But, hold up, it's not that simple. There's a catch. Actually, there's one huge condition. And when you hear it, you're gonna understand why this is absolutely insane. Terence Crawford has accepted Teofimo's fight offer. But here's the deal. Teofimo has to fight for free, and all the money from the fight goes straight to Crawford. Yeah, you heard that right. Crawford wants to make Teo work for nothing but pride. Let's dive into this madness and break it all down. Before we get into the details of this wild condition, let's recap real quick on who these two guys are. Terence Bud Crawford, the king of the welterweights, undefeated, pound for pound legend, just came off a huge win against Israel Madrimov and reminded everyone why he's that guy in boxing. His career has been nothing short of GOAT level, with titles across multiple weight classes and a no-nonsense attitude both in and out of the ring. When Bud steps into the ring, you already know he's bringing that smoke. On the flip side, we've got Teofimo the Takeover Lopez, one of the most exciting young talents in the sport. The dude took out Vasily Lomachenko when most people thought Loma was invincible, and ever since then, Teo's been on a mission to make sure the world puts some respect on his name. After a rough patch losing to Cambosos, Teo bounced back, capturing the 140-pound titles, proving he's still a threat. But now, he's gunning for the big fish. He wants Terence Crawford, the top dog at 147. Teofimo Lopez has never been shy when it comes to calling out the biggest names. From Devin Haney to Ryan Garcia, the dude's been chirping at everyone. But Bud? That's a whole different level of smoke. For weeks, Teo's been on social media, talking reckless about Crawford, saying things like Bud's time is up and that he could take him out if given the chance. And let's not forget, Teo's not even in the same weight class as Crawford. My guy would have to bulk up to even make the fight happen. But that didn't stop him from running his mouth. And, of course, you know Crawford isn't the type to get caught up in unnecessary drama. He's not out here looking to fight random people just to prove a point. But something about Teofimo's constant jabs must have struck a nerve, and Bud has had enough. Here's where things get juicy. Everyone's been waiting for Crawford's response, and now we finally have it. Terence Crawford has agreed to the fight, but only if Teofimo Lopez fights for free. Yup, you heard that right. Free? All the purse money? All the pay-per-view earnings? The sponsorships? The gate? Everything? That's all going to Bud. Teofimo doesn't get a single dime. I think the only guy that's dumb enough to take it because he has a lot of ego right now. I mean, for him to even call somebody that I know of just to be like, this is how I want my things to be presented, uh, it just already lets me know it's over his head and that's Terrence Crawford. I can't think of these other guys because 
they haven't made back the investor's money. Now, you might be thinking, why would Crawford even care about the money when he's already a multi-millionaire? Well, it's not about the cash. This is about respect and sending a message. Teofimo has been talking trash, saying he's got what it takes to beat Crawford. But Bud knows that stepping into the ring with him isn't just about skills, it's about the mindset. And he's also trying to put pressure on Teofimo already. Mind games have begun, and it's only a matter of time before Teofimo starts to second-guess himself. But hey, Teo is not one to shy away from a tough task. He has accepted Crawford's condition, and this bout is, will be seen the light of day anytime soon. Crawford knows that if Teofimo is truly serious about this fight, he'll agree to fight for free. But let's be honest, who's really going to do that? Fighting for free in the world of boxing? That's almost unheard of, especially for a guy like Teo, who's made a name for himself as a rising star in the sport. By laying down this condition, Crawford is basically challenging Teofimo's ego. It's not about the money. It's about whether Teo is willing to risk it all for the opportunity to face one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Crawford's trainer also took a few digs at Teo that left a lot of fans stunned. This beef is only getting started. Teofimo Lopez was here tonight. He says that that would be his dream matchup to go ahead and fight Terrence. He says he's willing to even move up to 154. What are your thoughts? He trash. Fuck Teofimo. No, because he talked too much shit. He used to be a humble kid. Used to be a humble kid. What if, by some miracle, Teofimo Lopez actually wins this fight? If Teo somehow manages to pull off the upset, this would be the biggest win of his career, no question. Forget Lomachenko, forget Cambosos. Beating Terence Crawford would catapult Teofimo into legendary status, and it would shake up the entire boxing landscape. But that's a big if. Not only would Teo be moving up to fight at 147, but he'd be going up against one of the most technically skilled and dangerous fighters on the planet. Crawford is no joke. His ring IQ is off the charts, and his ability to adapt mid-fight is what sets him apart from other fighters. June 5th, that all these 135 pound, pound guys in my division, they, they're quiet. They don't want to fight Teofimo again because what he just did. And then I'm just going to keep putting it on each and every time. But we're going to make those fights happen too. Teo might have the heart and the hunger, but does he really have the skill set to beat someone like Bud? Only time will tell. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.